What's going on? We back, good fella sports TV. Shout out to all the brothers and sisters that uh was on there in the live stream today. We did an NBA NFL stream and we also did a boxing live stream. Salute to the Cali Enigma Boxing and Sports Network and Colossal Sports TV for rolling through. Make sure you go sub subscribe to both of those channels as well. Make sure you smash the subscribe button if you haven't been here before. And check out some of our content. We talk about boxing, NBA, NFL, music, entertainment, current events, golf, tennis, everything. So hopefully uh, you check out the playlist and you enjoy the content. Uh, but um, junior middleweight champion uh, will be fighting Tony Harrison, my Detroit brother, Tony, uh, Tony Harrison, uh, December 22nd, Brooklyn Barclay Center. Salute. Um, you know, Went on the little a rant on Instagram, I guess. I'm going to link the description, link the video to the description. Concrete Jungle captured it. Um, and basically, you know, told another fighter telling the F the, saying F the fans. I'm paraphrasing here. You look at the uh, the uh, little Instagram live or interview, whatever you want to call it. He basically says that he, uh, you know, that he doesn't pick his fights. That uh, got financial businessman with more money. Uh, then the fans more pool than the fans picks his fights and the Charlos only want to fight the best. They don't duck nobody. They only fight who they told to fight and they just want to fight the best. But a business, uh, but business guys with more money, more pool than the fans choose their fights, you know? And, uh, if you don't like it, you don't like who the Charlos fighting, then, you know, fall back. You know, he said, F the fans. He said, I don't basically care what the fans say. We only doing what other people telling us to do. And, you know, business guys with more money and more pull than us matter more than, you know, what the fans think. And at the end of the day, it's been a narrative in boxing this year. Of basically, guys like Mikey Garcia and other fighters saying F the fans, F the media, you know, and it's a privilege for these boxers in this shitty era of boxing to even have media and fans that follow them and want to and, and want to be a part of this era of boxing because this era of boxing is stinky doodle shit. And for uh, the Charlo twins, for guys who are paper 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 title holders, in my opinion, and I think ninety percent of boxing hold, has paper title holders because um, there's only one champion in every other sport, and you can't be four champions. So you paper title holders until it's proven to be one legit champion of a division. Like I said, for guys with uh basic resumes to be talking a ton of shit. I mean, you know, and saying that his brother trained in Houston, he trained in Dallas and they back and forth every week to LA. Boy, if you walk through LA, don't nobody know who you is? Seriously. You ain't no star. You you should be the last person that should be out that y'all should be dissing, you know, fans. You know, and I believe that he's speaking on behalf of the whole PBC, not only his brother, and I'm going to put it on his brother too, unless his brother come out here and say, oh, no, that's just what Jamel think. No, I'm going to put it on both of them, and I think this is the the whole the whole feeling of PBC fighters, F the fans. Really, I think it's about F the fans and our business advisors and these financial bigwigs behind here matter more, uh, more to us than you because they're paying us big money, but they forget Without us watching, without us paying fourteen dollars for Showtime, without us without us tuning in to Fox December December twenty second, check out your fights. Without you know us paying the ESPN Plus at five dollars, paying ten dollars for the zone. Without our viewerships, them business wigs don't have no interest in you. Remember that. Without us watching, without the fans, ain't no boxing. And it's like it's so bad. It's like the boxers are so frustrated and so angry with the fans because the fans are asking. Basic demands, the same demands the fans I asked for Rocky Marciano, Jack Johnson, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, Alexis Aguero, uh, um, uh, Rufredo Benitez, I mean, uh, Aaron Pryor, Tito Trinidad, Felix, uh, Felix Trinidad, Tito Trinidad, Oscar De La Hoya, um, you know, all these fighters, Bernard Hopkins, all these fighters, we asked the same thing, Muhammad Ali, Ray Robinson. The same thing we've been asking these dudes for the same thing we asked them for years and decades and a century ago is to fight the best. We just want to see the best fight the best. If we're going to have to pay for boxing and not just turn on our TV sets and turn our antennas for free, if we're going to pay for boxing, we won't actually hold you guys to the same standard we held fighters 10, 15, 100 years ago is to fight the best. 
If you dudes want to continue to get mad because the fans just want to demand the most bang for their buck, they want to demand the, demand the most basic principle in boxing, which is to prove that you are the best and you are the single numero uno champion of a division, and you get mad because fans want you to prove that you're the best and want you to see you in upper echelon fights, then F you. F you. If you want to continue to turn on the fans, you won't have no fans. Boxing is not a top-tier sport. Do they not realize that 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 boxing ain't an elite sport? Boxing ain't a top one, two, three, four sport or five sport in America. Do they not realize just because you got a Maserati, just because you got a Bentley, you got some chains, that you don't have no notoriety? You ain't famous. You, you go to the BET Awards, people want to know who you is. You go to the Grammys, you couldn't get in. You go to the MTV Awards, they're going to make you... They're going to probably think you're trying to clean the bathrooms up. You ain't nobody. It's more YouTube personalities that got more notoriety than some of these boxers. And, and for people out here to take the time out their day to come on your Instagram live, to ask a question, to take their time out the day to sit on YouTube and talk about you and your brother fights and the rest of the PBC fights and promote you promote y'all fights for free with Eddie Hearn out here buying channels, channels out here to talk about his fights. And for us to talk about you guys for free and give you a fan base and you not be appreciative of that? F you. Seriously, F you. You know, for these dudes not to be appreciative of, of people wanting to see them fight the best. Well, if you, you don't want to, you know, support we doing, us bum bashing, and you don't want to pay $15 a month for us bum bashing, or you don't want to give us an hour or two hours of your time, December 27th, we won't give you our time. We won't. What are we going to give you all time, time for? And you dudes don't even want to fight the best. That's how PBC fighters feel. When they go around here lying, saying lions only. Boy, you a kidding, thinking like that. When they around here talking about um, we are on bosses. No, you're not. The only, the, the, you not, only thing they're not tied to is a promotional contract. Obviously, they don't make their own decisions. They don't pick their own fights. Let's keep it real. They don't pick their own fights. He just told you. People with more money and more pool than the fans pick his fights. And my page, and he said my paycheck gonna be the same regardless. So that just shows you they don't want to fight the best. That shows you you ain't a boss. So stop going around here acting like y'all bosses and y'all employees. Y'all punch the clock just like we punch the clock. When PBC say snap their fingers or whoever run PBC snap their fingers and call for a promo, you after them. You don't make your own decisions. You don't hash out your own deals. You don't draw up your own contracts. You ain't got your own businesses. Even when you went to go get your jewelry in your cars, Al Heyman or some financial guy signed off on a deal. So stop trying to act like y'all own bosses. Y'all drawing up deals. Dog. Y'all just figureheads. Y'all pawns in a deeper game. We understand that. So when they, anytime a PBC fighter come out here and say they your own boss, it's a lie. These dudes ain't no bosses. These dudes is figureheads and they employees. Just like you, you go to work every day and punch the clock. They go to work every day and punch the clock and do what PBC asked them to do. But it, it's crazy that now these dudes want to act like the fans dumb. They want to act like the fans don't know nothing. It's, it's fans that been in boxing longer than you dudes been alive and know what real boxing is about. These dudes ain't real boxers. These dudes don't want competition. These dudes don't want smoke. These dudes don't want to fight the best. These dudes want to just hide behind, hide behind, you know, PBC and hide behind you know, these big wigs and said, well, I'm just doing what they asked me to do. But when Adrian Broner, you know, was asked not to fight Madonna, asked to go another route, he went out his way and fought Marcus Madonna to prove a point. So anytime these fighters say, I just do what they asked me, you can go out your way. If you're a boss, you can make your own decisions and make your own moves, but you're not. Either you a boss or you're not a boss, or either you're too coward to go out there and make the fights you need to make happen. And you a coward when you go out here and blame the fans for just demanding the basic essentials of the sport of boxing of wanting you to fight the best competition out there. So when somebody asks you why you ain't fight this guy or you ducking this guy, that, that ducking that guy, or why you can't fight that guy and you get irritated like that, that means you a sissy. You scared to fight that guy. Oh, I don't pick my own fights, but you just said Lions only promotions and I'm my own boss. So how can you be the boss of your own promotional company, but you can't even... Go make a fight for yourself. You can't even cross the street and go make the fights you need to make. You can't even go out here and draw financial business up. You a figurehead. That promotional front ain't nothing but to get them extra money and get them promote, get them a promotional cut to add, cut to add on to their uh, purses. That's all that is. That promotional front, 
Most of them fighters don't have no fighters on their promotional company. That promotional junk is 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 a, is a front to get more money to get you a, get these fighters promotional cuts, so they only got to fight once or twice a year. Cause they scared to lose. They scared to compete. They all drunk. They all at the bar. They all abusing their bodies. They all fighting 20, 30 uh, pounds below their natural weight. They all lazy. They don't want to compete. They don't want to fight on a regular basis. Because they scared to lose. They scared to lose. These ain't throwback fighters. These throw up fighters. Fighters that make you, when you watch them, make you throw up. Fighters that when you listen to them talk, they talk like punks, make you want to throw up. Fighters that, that don't want to go out to, go out there and fight the best, and you finally see them go out there and fight the best, they get dog walked after talking all fake tough talk, make you want to throw up. Fighters that think they're really popular, re- think what they really pop in these streets, thinking they really big shots and superstars, and they ain't nothing to make you want to throw up. Never seen another, uh, I never seen a sport that turns on their fans for asking the basic essentials. I never seen that before. But welcome to the sport of boxing. Where the boxers of the day get irritated because the bo- the boxing fans of today want them to be like it was in the 70s, 60s, 80s, and 90s. They're not asking them to go out there and fight 15 round fights. They're going out there to ask them, can we just see number one versus number two? Instead of seeing you two guys fight when y'all out y'all prime, can we see you guys fight the best before y'all go on pay per view? We gotta pay seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred dollars for it. Can we just see you fight the best? Why can't you fight the best? And when you ask some questions and they get agitated, it's because they know it can't happen. They know it won't happen. They know they don't want it to happen. All these boxers on PBC in particular want to do is they want to stretch their career out. They want to get all these bum bashers fight twice a year. Get as much money as they can before the expiration date come. They don't want to prove they the best. So anytime you hear PBC buy, fighter talk about how they want to fight the best, as Keith Thurman was talking about two, three years ago, how he wanted to fight the best. In actuality, they don't want to fight the best. They just want to get as much money as they can, and then towards the end of their career, fight once a time a year like Floyd did, and, and dupe the fans and, and steal money from the fans. They don't. They don't. The boxers. These boxers don't care about you. These boxers don't care about you. They don't. These boxers don't care about the sport. They don't care they're going to leave the sport in the worst condition boxing ever been in. They don't care about that. You know, so next time you think about paying and not streaming for a fight, think about the comments that he said in this video. I'm going to link to the description. Anytime you think about flying, for, flying to a fight to go support these clowns that think like him and act like him and talk like him, think about this interview. When you think about contemplating between going to a Laker game or going to a Charlo fight or going to the Bahamas or going to a boxing fight, think about this. Think about these comments that he said. We think about buying a Lions only shirt, a Man Down shirt, or a Canelo shirt, or whoever, or one of these fighter shirts. Think about these comments that he said. Remember that. Think about what he said. We think about when you fighting on the thread and people say Charlo's a bum, they don't fight nobody. Think about this this interview that he did, this Instagram live that he did, disrespecting the fans. And what he thinks about the situation. Just think about that for a minute before you defi- defend these clowns. It's good, fellow sports TV, man. Like I said, I'll link that video in the description. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. A lot of people going to be in their feelings. But like I said, the proof's in the pudding. I'll put the link in the description. You can watch the video. Don't forget, we got a Facebook group. We're on Facebook. We got a Facebook creator page, a like page. You can join both of those in the description. We're also on Twitter. You can tweet, tweet at me. You can DM me on those platforms, ask me questions, video requests. You also can email me business inquiries or, or business-related questions, or you can ask a video request there as well. Also, I want to make a donation to the channel. That link's in the description. Salute to everybody that do donate to the channel. I definitely appreciate it as well. And continue to share the videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video or live stream. Salute to everybody that was on the live stream today. It was pretty, pretty good. Hopefully, get back in the rhythm of doing a live stream. Now I'm back. I'm not as sick and I'm talking with some clarity. Y'all know what the business is, Mr. One Time.